good lad. Come on. Good lad. Come on, son. Yeah, I will. Come on, Will. Good boy. Go on. I'm Alex and I can't see very well. I can see a very little bit out of the side of my eyes. I can't see anything straight ahead. I would call myself visually impaired, um, but I'm actually registered blind. And the difference is someone who is blind can't see at all. They've got no sight at all where I have a very little bit of sight. I'm able to watch the television, but when I watch the television, I sit to the side of it. So it looks as if I'm looking straight ahead, um, stay away from the television, but I'm looking at the television from the side of my eye. My dog's name is Leo, and he's a lab retriever, and I've had him for four years now. Good boy, right. Good boy, straight on. I've had my eye condition since uh, birth. My eyes don't hurt at all, there's no pain in my eyes. Good boy, come on, right. My condition means that I can look straight ahead and not be able to see anything, so it's like blank, it's dark. And, and as I come further out of my eyes, I can see more and more to the side. I can also see colours, um, but not like sort of you might see colours. It's not as bright, and sometimes I get colours mixed up. When we're outside, Leo effectively is my eyes. He prevents me walking into poles, people. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Usually when the bus comes, um, Leo stands up and starts wagging his tail because he knows the bus is coming. Anywhere I go, Leo goes too. Many years ago, an old man was walking across the fields at evening time. He'd been working hard in the fields over the years and had developed a large lump on his back. And as he walked along, he stopped because he heard the sound of voices singing. 
Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and oh. And he realised it was the fairies singing, and they had forgotten the last day of the week. And he called out, my friends, my friends, the word you can't remember is Sunday. And there was laughing, and then, appearing in front of him, he saw the king of the fairies. And the king of the fairies said, old man, thank you for helping us with our song. We are very grateful, and we will give you a present. You shall have money, gold, diamonds, jewels. But the old man said, no, 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 I don't want anything. I'm happy just to have helped you. But you must take something. No, no, it's all right. Well, then we will give you a gift. And the king of the fairies disappeared. And the old man stood there, and suddenly he began to shiver, and to shake, to feel hot, and to feel cold. And then all of a sudden, he found that the fairies had taken away his hump. Oh, he felt so much better, so much younger. And he started to walk back to the village. When he happened to meet another old man of the village who looked at him and said, oh, what's happened to you? Well, do you know, I met the fairies and the fairies were singing a song and they couldn't remember the words and I helped them. And they gave me as a reward. Well, they offered me gold, jewels, money, but I wouldn't have any of it. Oh, you didn't take it? No, no, no. Huh. Well, you are a fool. You wouldn't get me turning down a reward like that. <laughs> so get out of my way. And he pushed past the old man, and the grumpy old man pushed off, heading for the field where the fairies were known to be living. And soon he came to the same place, and he too heard Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and oh, fairies, you silly fairies, the word you are missing is Sunday to finish your rhyme. Now where's my reward? And in front of him appeared the king of the fairies. Old man, you say reward? Yeah, my friend was here and helped you with the song and you offered him a reward, money, jewels, diamonds. But he didn't take them, he was a fool. Well, I'm not so silly. I want what my friend left behind. And the king of the fairies looked at him and said, very well. And the king of the fairies faded away. And the old man began to shiver and to shake, to feel hot and to feel cold. And then all of a sudden, he found that he had got what his friend left behind. Because now he had two humps and he walked home a very grumpy old man.
Gabby, Lucas, Emily, Evan, Josiah and Molly are taking part in an experiment. They're going to find out what it's like to go to a party without being able to see. To make it completely dark for them, they're each going to wear a blindfold. I can't see. When they go to the party room, they'll be depending on their other senses to find out what delicious party food is there. And they'll be able to taste and smell what's on the table. But they won't be able to see. Let's take a look at that party food. There are one or two surprises. First, the boys are going to have a go. Where is the food? Oh, it's over here. Let's see what it's like not being able to see the food. I think this might be a tomato. Ooh. Olives. I hate olives. <laughs> what are these? What are these? Apples? It's the girls' turn. How will they find the party food in the dark? Something really gooey there. Ugh. Oh, that's really nice. I think it's pineapple. What's that? Oh, it's all slimy. Uh, can't even bite into it. What is it? Oh, I, I think it's a nut. I have no idea. Oh, I don't even my teeth hurt. Something in the packet I've got. What is it? Some cake. So, what was it like not being able to see? Some bits were really slight squidgy, but some were rock hard. The nicest thing I found was, I think it's pineapple. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yeah. And the worst thing I found was definitely that. I didn't like that those. I couldn't really see, so I had to feel. To and, and when I reached the table, I I actually touched that. It felt disgusting because it's all wet. Now they can see their favourite foods. 